Hey guys. Okay, one, sorry if you hear the dogs barking, and two, if you hear my stomach growling, I am sorry. I'm so hungry, and I'm so excited to go eat after this. <laughs> also, we can talk about my hair. I know it looks like ass. I'm not very good with hair, so I don't have too many tricks up my sleeve as to how to fix it when things get crazy, and things got crazy today. I went to go dump out a cup of milk for my daughter and I slipped and the milk went everywhere. It went all over my body, but especially, especially on my face and my hair. So I really, really loved that. My hair was down and really pretty and curly today and I just sat down to film my video and then she asked me to pour that out for her. So it happened literally right before I went to start filming and I was covered in milk so I had to stop what I was doing and take a shower and start all over again. But anyway, so today's video is going to be a like bronzy gold makeup tutorial using the Milani palette and this is the Bare Necessities palette. So if you want to see how I got this look right here, just keep watching. I'm going to start out by priming my eyelids with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer and then I'm going to take my Fit Me Matte and Poreless Translucent Powder and I'm going to set my eyelids down. I'm going to go into this Milani palette and I'm going to take this light brown shade and I'm going to use this as my transition shade. I'm going to build this up kind of being a little bit sloppy with it. Then I'm going to take the darkest brown in the palette and I'm going to work this into my crease and the outer V of my eye. And when I'm working on the crease, I make sure that I focus my brush specifically in that area and not drag it down onto the lid. Using that same shade, I'm going to pack it all over the outer corner of my eye, blending as I go. take that light brown shade again and I'm going to use that just to mesh those two colors together a little more and then I'm going to take the gold shade in the palette and I'm going to pack that all over the lid. The color is pretty on its own but I wanted it to have a little bit more pop so I took that same gold with a setting spray and I did the same thing again I just packed it all over the lid. I'm going to take this pretty bronze shade and I'm going to pack it right in between the gold and the dark brown on the outer V just so everything fades nicely. Then I'm going to take this highlighting shade in the palette to highlight my brow bone and the inner corner of my eye. Taking a makeup wipe I'm going to clean up the edges of my eye and then I'm going to take the dark brown shade in the palette again on a flat tipped brush and I'm just going to stamp it really close to my lash line and that's going to create an eyeliner effect. Moving on to my face, I'm going to prime with my Koki So Matte Primer. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. This stuff is another one of my favorites. It's a solid medium coverage, but this stuff is so lightweight that I don't even feel like I'm wearing foundation when I'm wearing it. And it always makes my skin look super gorgeous. Koki Brightening Concealer under my eyes and to highlight my face. I love this concealer because it has a dewy finish and it looks really, really pretty on the skin. To set down all my concealer, I'm going to use this e.l.f. under eye setting powder. This stuff is crazy cheap and it has a really pretty brightening effect. 
And to set the rest of my face, I'm using this e.l.f. Prime and Stay Finishing Powder. This was actually the first time that I used this powder, and it was really nice. To bronze my skin, I'm using my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And for blush, I'm using this gorgeous powder blush from Milani in the shade Romantic Rose. I wanted a little bit of a golden highlight, so I'm taking this Wet n Wild highlight in Boozy Brunch. up the eyes going back into the Milani palette using the dark brown shade and I'm going to stamp that really close to the lash line. Then I'm going to use that light brown shade one last time and blend everything out. I'm going to take my ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Mr. Bing and I'm going to use this to tight line. Then I'm going to take this one in the shade Get Paid and I'm going to use this on my waterline. I wanted my waterline to look a little bit more golden so I went back to the gold shade in the palette and I placed this really carefully on my waterline. I went ahead and applied my mascara off camera with my L'Oreal Lash Paradise. And for my lips, I'm going to line and fill them in with my Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in the shade All Natural. And I'm going to pair that with my Maybelline Lipstick in the shade Clay Crush. This is one of my favorite lip combinations. I find that it looks great with anything. And for me, the Milani Lip Liners always seem to make my lipstick last longer. And for some gloss, I'm going to use my LA Colors High Shine Lip Gloss. This stuff is really comfortable to wear, it's not sticky at all, and it feels hydrating. And last, I'm going to set everything down with my L'Oreal Infallible Makeup Extender Setting Spray. Okay guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this look. If you did, please give me a thumbs up so I know. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys! Best or worse? I don't know. Somebody teach me hair. It's a lot of BS about HS. Hydronitis super acute. What? Stomach on flat flat. Ass on now. Last year I had drama, girl, not right.